In this tip of the week, we will look at features of the new gradebook. In the What's New for Fall 2018 tip of the week, some information was provided about the new gradebook that will be coming to all 2019 courses. The video tip showed how to turn on the new gradebook in your courses if you want to use it immediately. The new gradebook will look and feel familiar to the old gradebook, but it offers more powerful sorting and organization options, as well as some customization. Once the new gradebook is enabled, you will notice that the gradebook top menu location moves from the right of the top menu to the left, and the menu items have changed to gradebook, view, and actions. The gradebook menu item allows you to select individual view to assess one student and one assignment at a time. You can switch back to the full gradebook at any time. You can also select Gradebook History from the Gradebook drop-down menu, which takes you to the Gradebook History page. The Gradebook History page logs recent grade changes in the course according to student, grader, assignment, and the date. It shows the before, after, and current score to reflect any changes. Additionally, you can filter results based on student, grader, assignment, start date, and end date. The View drop-down menu allows you to filter and sort the gradebook according to several viewing options. Arrange By allows you to reorganize the columns in the gradebook based on assignment name, due date, points, or module location. The default order is the order the assignments were created in, or the order by which you manually arranged the gradebook to be in. Filters allows you to view assignments by assignment group, module, or section. When a filter option is selected, the filter menu displays at the top of the gradebook. Multiple filters can be used at the same time. Currently, when selecting a filter, the filter retains the last viewed selection. For example, if your gradebook has filters set to a certain assignment group and module, if you leave the gradebook and come back, those filters will remain on the gradebook. To ensure you can always view all items in the gradebook, be sure to change the filter so it shows all results before removing the filtering option. If you click to uncheck the filter, it will remove the filter altogether from the gradebook. The Statuses option allows you to change the default color for a grading status in the gradebook. The default colors for each status are blue for late, red for missing, green for resubmitted, orange for dropped, and yellow for excused. The colors can be adjusted by selecting a default color or using a supported hex code. You can make the color white if you do not want the status to be indicated in the gradebook. You will get a warning message if the hex code you enter is not valid. The Columns section includes two options, Notes and Unpublished Assignments. Checking or unchecking notes from the menu allows you to show or hide a notes column in the gradebook. You can use a notes column in the gradebook to keep track of extra information in your course, such as extra information about a particular student or general notes. The notes column is not visible to students and information you add to it will be retained when hiding and unhiding the column. Checking or unchecking unpublished assignments from the menu allows you to show or hide unpublished assignment columns in the gradebook. In the old gradebook, you had to publish an assignment before it was visible in the gradebook, but in the new gradebook, by default, you can view the unpublished assignments. 
However, the setting can be turned off at any time by unchecking it from the View menu. The Actions menu allows you to bulk manage student grades in the gradebook by importing and exporting the gradebook through a CSV file. The new gradebook also includes a grade detail tray for each student submission in the gradebook. When entering grades, the new gradebook displays crosshairs and highlighting across the row and column for improved orientation to help you locate a specific gradebook cell. This helps ensure that you are entering grades for the appropriate assignment and student. When you click on a gradebook cell, a more details icon will appear. Click the icon, and the grade detail tray will show in the page, where you can view and update details about the student's grade, adjust settings on a student's individual submission, and leave comments for that student. In the status section, you can view how many days late the student submitted the assignment and adjust the amount of days late in the interval field if needed. You can also manually change the submission to a different status, but please note that changing the status will remove any late or missing penalties that had been automatically applied to the student's submission. See our tip of the week about applying missing and late submission policies in the gradebook for more information about how to automatically apply these deductions within the gradebook. For each assignment, you can hover over the column header to view the assignment menu. From the assignment menu, you can sort assignments by grade or missing or late status, or message students who meet a certain criteria, such as those who are missing submissions. From the assignment menu, you can also set a default grade to assign a zero to all students who did not submit an assignment. To do so, you would just want to ensure that the option to overwrite already entered grades remains unchecked. As with the old gradebook, you can also mute and unmute assignments from the assignment menu. A muted assignment will not send out grade change notifications or any new instructor comments until the assignment is unmuted. A muted assignment will be marked as muted in the gradebook. Students can still see and submit a muted assignment, but students will be unable to view their grades, including score changes, submission comments, and Canvas doc viewer comments until the assignment is unmuted. When you are done grading the assignment, you can unmute the assignment from the same assignment menu in the gradebook. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please review the following guides.